Good morning and brothers and sisters who are listeners to this morning devotion from Life Spring Assembly Lucknow I am Pastor Mathai God's blessing be upon you and the Holy Spirit's anointing to listen to God's wonderful word and be encouraged and be strengthened in your spiritual life Today's meditation is centered around the gospel according to St John chapter 12 verses 20 to 26 I must read this. The gospel according to St John chapter 12 20 to Now some Greeks were among those who went up to worship at the festival. So they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and requested of him, "Sir, we want to see Jesus." And Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus replied to them, "The hour has come for the son of man to be glorified i assure you unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies it remains by itself but if it dies it produces a large crop the one who loves his life will lose it and the one who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life if anyone serves me he must follow me where i am there my servant also will be if anyone serves me the father will honor him and may the lord's blessing be upon the reading of god's word as well who are these greeks that we read read about why they decide to see jesus what did they mean what was their inner motives these questions cannot be answered we do not know but one thing stands out there are more things going on in some people's minds than we are aware of one thing is certain there are people whom we do not even expect seeking for truth hungry for the knowledge of the true and living way to eternal life like the wise men perhaps these men may have understood that jesus is the hope for human kind So there are two three things I would like to bring to your attention. Number 1, death is the way to spiritual life and glory. The passage that we have read deals with that. That's what the passage says. If you want to live eternally, then you must be prepared to die to yourself. And so the first thing that we understand from this statement is Jesus came to carry a cross not to wear a crown and this is what the Jewish uh, religious leadership did not understand they were expecting a messiah who will come and immediately wear a crown but Jesus came like a servant he came to wear a cross carry the cross not to wear a crown his kingdom was to begin to begin with a crucifixion not with a coronation and the second truth is christ's death was to be the source of spiritual life to the world
from the cross was to spring up a harvest of benefits to mankind his death was to be the root of blessings and mercies to countless millions of souls and my friends is it not true for the last 2000 years plus the message from the cross is the only reason that millions have denied the world and the pleasures of this life and the devil's way and our denied ourselves for the hope of an eternal life that is flowing from the cross on which Jesus died isn't that wonderful it was christ death not his life or miracles that was to be the source of redemption for a lost world always remember this truth so what is the application to us unless we die to self we cannot to bring forth fruit like the seed when you sow a seed what happens first is the death of that seed and out of that death springs out a new life a new tree and my friends as far as our own life is concerned unless that old life is there is no cure there is no medicine there is no, you cannot make any improvement and to become a good person that can be done a good person we are but we are not talking about a good person we are talking about how a person can be born again and start a new again as the verse in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says if anyone is in christ he is a new creation he does not to bring the old and to try to renew the old but no it has to be an entirely new beginning altogether and that's what happened when you surrender yourselves to the lordship of jesus unless we die to self we cannot bring forth the fruit unless we die to self we can never experience this new life which is in jesus christ and it is not just a patch up work it is not a reform here and there changes here and there wherever we think we need to change okay i am a drunkard i should stop drinking i am a chain smoker i should stop smoking i am a drug addict i should stop taking drugs all these resolutions can be passed but they will never work that is the problem the old head will again rise up and that is why unless you are willing to die to self and allow jesus christ comes in and begin his life in you and through you that's what makes you a new creation and i pray that those of you who are listening have experienced this in your personal life and if there is even a single person among our listeners who do not know what it means to be born again and what it is to live a new life in Christ today is your opportunity if you are willing to die that is the passage here so once i finish this meditation today itself you read john's gospel chapter 12 verses 20 to 26 
That's what Jesus is talking about. Unless a kernel of wheat that dies, it cannot bring forth fruit. Out of that death springs up a new life. And that is the life that belongs to God. And I pray that you will experience that new life. And a new beginning. And a new family. The family of God, the church. That is why it is very important as soon as you experience salvation and a new life. You better find a fellowship and a church that believes in the full gospel of Jesus Christ as declared to us in the New Testament without any compromise or diluting it. And then you join that church family, be a part of it, making your contributions and making yourselves a part of the body of Jesus Christ. And this is the message from this passage. And always remember, look out for people, men and women, who suddenly realize that in Jesus Christ there is abundant new life. And I want it. There may be people whom you meet daily, but secretly they have it in their hearts. I want to know the real truth. I want to be satisfied by finding that truth. That truth has to be a living truth. Brought into this world by a living reality, living person. And that person is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have, if you have not acknowledged him as your Lord and Savior, do it today, right now. Bow your head because he loves you. That's why he came down and he was willing to die. And through his death, there is hope of a new life springing up within us if you acknowledge him as the only Lord and Savior. Give him an opportunity to change you. He loves you. That's why he went to the cross and died for you and shed his blood for your salvation, your forgiveness of sin. And thus you have an opportunity to be born again and begin a new life that will lead you into eternity to live with Jesus, with God, who is holy forever and ever. Amen. And those of you who have received it, enjoy it every day. And now it is time for you to share it with others because people have a genuine inquiries. They may not express it, they may not tell you, but with prayer you can find them and lead them to Christ. This is a great day. The rest of the, day, the time of this day spend profitably in the presence of God. God's blessing be upon you. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit whom you have sent that he may lead us and guide us and he may teach us and show us the genuine truth which is in Jesus Christ. And may we be willing to die to ourselves so that a new life can spring up in us through that death. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you and this is your day.